Hi, my name is Hanser from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Fiora. Generally in solo queue, I think Fiora is one of the strongest top laners still, just because she scales really well and she can snowball really hard, and pretty much no other champion can out split push her, like even Jax, I feel like. Basically, if she ever gets ahead head in lane, she can just out split push the enemy top laner, and the other team can't really do much about it, so she's definitely a solid pick. So, the way you play lane, or play Fiora in lane, is pretty much try to poke with your passive in Q as much as you can and just make sure you can't get all in and try to parry whatever engage that they have so you can get the stun off and like out trade your opponent. Usually you can't really do much unless you have items as Fiora because she really she's like an item dependent champion. So once you get like TM at, I think you can win most matchups at that point because it just gives her a lot of wave clear and like an auto attack reset, it's just extra damage. So try to play safe early and then farm till late game because nothing can beat you late game. Team fighting as Fiora is actually really interesting because you can't just go all in on AD carry and like try to parry whatever CC they have at you. If they have a lot of CC on their team, you generally have to just be wary and wait till they actually use it on something else and then try to flank the backline. And usually as Fiora, if you're fed or even like just decently farmed, you can easily like duel all of the backline at once. Basically your main goal is to try to ulti the carry and then proc it as many times as you can and parry any CC that comes your way. And if you get parried or if you get CC'd by like a long range CC, you can parry it towards like a, another champion it'll stun that champion too. So like you can use their CC to your advantage and like outplay a lot of situations in team fights. So I think the most important thing to know on Fiora is to be able to proc the passives like really efficiently. Cause you can't, if you can't do that, then you're losing a lot of damage in your kit. Just learn how to proc the passives like with your Q, like your Q can actually dash really far and it hits really far away. So if you can learn the range of your Q and proc the passives really well, then you can like out trade most people. So the second most important thing about Fiora's kit is her parry because you can outplay a lot of situations with it. If they ever just telegraph their CC or anything like that and you parry it, you can pretty much guarantee a kill. And the best way to use parry is uh, obviously you want to parry the CC, but you also want to hit them with the W. The biggest thing that most people don't do is that they don't ulti as soon as the, the enemy stun because if you ulti, while you're parrying and you hit the parry, that means you, you pretty much just get like two free seconds to move around and hit the procs, and that, that's like a guaranteed all in. For runes on Fiora, I like to go attack damage reds, armor yellows, flat CDR blues, and attack damage quints. I like to go flat AD instead of attack speed because I feel like as Fiora, you don't really need the attack speed if you can play her well and just proc all the passive stacks. I don't really get MR because you don't really need it, and CDR is just a really important stat. Masteries I like to run are 12018. I like to get Fury, Feast, uh, Vampirism, and Depressor. I think Feast is really good for lane. Vampirism is really good because you have a lot of lifesteal later on. And Depressor is good because you get slows off your W and you keep your E. Uh, in the Resolve Tree, I get Recovery for laning phase, Tough Skin just for a better trades in lane, Runic Armor because you get a lot of healing. and a lot of sustain off your just your item path and your ulti. Insights better than perseverance in my opinion, just better cooldowns, flashes up more often. Swiftness is really good for getting kited and just overall getting CC'd in fights. And Raspian dying is the best out of the three keystones because you proc it a lot in team fights, you do extra damage and you heal more. For early levels on Fiora, I always get Q at level one and then depending on the matchup if they have like some CC, like if it's against like a Riven or a Jax and you want to counter the CC, you can get W. If not, then you can just get E. And then at level 3, you always get the other one. So you have Q, W, and E at level 3. And then generally on Fury, you always want to max Q first and then E second. And then your ulti and then W last. Because Q and E are your best damage abilities and W is more like a utility. And the leveling it up doesn't really help it much. So. Q and E are just a lot better. For starting items on Fiora, it really depends on the matchup. If you feel like you're going to be trading a lot and can't win early game, then going Corrupting Potion is really good right now because you just have a lot of sustain and you can poke for free with the passive procs. 
but if you really want to go for like an all-in, I say Doran Blade is still really good. Um, so those are good for early game, and then later, later game, you always want to go for a Tiamat and into a Ravenous Hydra because Fiora has no inherent wave flare in her kit, so getting that item will help her farm and just push waves a lot faster. And then after that, you can go either Black Cleaver or Triforce. Because Triforce got buffed, well, he got changed, so it now gives CDR. It's actually really good on Fiora because CDR is a really important stat. Black Cleaver is like a more solid build. It makes you more tanky and it also got buffed with more damage, so it's not bad either, but Triforce is like more bursty. And then after that, you can get a BT if you're feeling you can snowball really hard or like a GA or a Maw. Those are all really good items. And for boots, I think Merc Treads are really solid. Um, this new CDR boots are really good too. And Ninja Tabby is really good if you're against an AD heavy team. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos at lowclass.com.